children uh, now let us see the exercise problems of 14b uh, in that the first main reduce the given fractions to their lowest terms so uh, two problems i have already discussed in uh, explaining the concept of reduce re reducing the fractions okay the second uh, main is state whether true or false okay in this the first one is uh, 2 by 5 which is equal to 10 by 15 so whether uh, we have to uh, we have to say whether this is true or not for that the uh, one of the given fractions since one of the given fractions is not in the reduced form let us reduce this to the lowest form so 10 by 15 to reduce this into the lowest term uh, lowest form divide the divide these two by their hcf actually when the given fract when the given fractions are of uh, having the smaller numbers then no need to find the hcf every time uh, just by seeing the numbers itself we will come to know which might be the largest divisor of these two numbers okay since 10 and 15 both divides by 5 itself okay uh, let us divide these two by 5 okay after dividing by 5 i got 2 by 3 that is 5 2s are 5 3s are so the answer will be 2 by 3 okay so after that the given fraction which is the given fraction here the first one is 2 by 5 and the obtained fraction is 2 by 3 are they equal no since they are not equal so this is false got it okay next second one so 35 by uh, 42 which is equal to 5 by 6 here uh, the first fraction 35 by 42 is not in the lowest form therefore uh, reduce it to the lowest form by dividing the common factor or the largest divisor so uh, 35 and 42 in which tables do we get in 7 itself right uh, therefore this uh, 35 and 42 divide by 7 then it becomes 7 uh, 7 5 times is 35 and uh, 7 6 times is 42 so the obtained uh, um, reduced form is 5 by 6 okay the uh, the second fraction see the uh, this is the first fraction this is the equivalent to the first fraction that is 5 by 6 and the second is also 5 by 6 hence they are true got it children yes so let us move to the fourth problem uh, actually the third problem is uh, uh, 5 by uh, look here children so this is 5 by 4 and 4 by 5 since both the given fractions are in the reduced form and uh, they are since they are not equal also they are not uh, so this is false okay 5 by 4 is not equal to 4 by 5 hence it becomes false understood okay so i'm doing the fourth one now so in fourth one 7 by 9 which is equal to 1 1 by 7 for this for first you convert um, mix it form into improper got it so 7 ones are 7 7 plus 1 is 8 8 by 7 okay after uh, converting into mix it uh, improper form i got 8 by 7 now uh, compare these two fractions are they equal no since they are not equal the answer is false got it children yes next mean is third one uh, third mean which fraction is greater so uh, third and fourth mean this is uh, which fraction is lesser in these two mains also I have the shown one of the problems in the video itself children so uh, according to that you do the remaining problems so let us move to the fifth main that is arrange the given fractions in descending order okay so for this uh, here is the uh, solution uh, the first one I have done here the first one 5 by 16 uh, 13 by 24 and 7 by 8 okay uh, first as we do in the comparison of fractions uh, equalize the denominator e since they are unlike fractions let us convert into like fractions by equalizing the denominator right to equalize the denominator we should take the lcm okay the lcm of 16 24 and 8 is 
uh, it when uh, since these are uh, even numbers let us factorize or divide by 2 so 2 8s are 2 12s are 2 4s are similar once again all these are even numbers so we can choose uh, 2 itself is the common factor 2 4s are 2 6s are and 2 2s are okay and finally 2 2s are 2 3s are and 2 1s are so the product of all these factors the product of all these factors will become the lcm of uh, these numbers that is 48 got it so once we obtain the uh, lcm let us equalize the denominator i mean let us find out the corresponding or equivalent corresponding equivalent fractions okay 5 by 16 uh, so denominator should be multiplied by a suitable factor so that the uh, denominator which which should be equal to lcm that is 48 okay 16 3 times is 48 so uh, the same factor should be mut when we uh, multiply the same factor to the numerator then 5 3 times becomes 15 by 48 okay similarly the second fraction 13 by 24 so when it uh, this should be multiplied by 2 to get, obtain 48 24 2 times is 48 similarly 13 2 times is 26 right okay the third one is 7 by 8 7 by 8 8 6 times is 48 so therefore uh, numerator also multiplied by 6 7 6 uh, we get 48 okay so after obtaining the equivalent fractions let us arrange these equivalent fractions in the descending order so what do you mean by descending order children that is bigger to smaller we have to arrange these fractions in bigger from bigger to smaller so among these three the biggest one the biggest is 42 42 by 48 um, followed by 26 by 48 and then uh, the smallest one is 15 by 48 okay and after arranging in the descending order let us write the uh, corresponding given fractions okay 42 by 48 is the uh, equivalent is equivalent to 7 by 8 right uh, therefore you write 7 by 8 and 26 by 48 is equivalent to 13 by 24 and then uh, last one 15 by 48 which is equivalent to 5 by uh, 16 got it children in this way we arrange the given fractions in descending order okay similarly uh, let us see how to arrange the given fractions in ascending order okay uh, for this sixth mean okay uh, see arrange the given fractions in ascending order of magnitude in this uh, i'm doing the second one children second one that is 5 by 6 2 by 7 8 by 9 and 1 by 3 okay uh, let us see the uh, problem ascending arranging in ascending order 5 by 6 2 by 7 8 by 3 and 1 by 3 oh, sorry 8 by 9 and 1 by 3 uh, first as i uh, as we done in the previous problems take the lcm of the given denominators that is 6 7 9 3 okay uh, since uh, 6 and 3 are only divisible by 3 so i choose 3 as a common factor 3 2s are 3 7 and 9 should be carried down as it is children and 3 1s are 3 okay and after this multiply all these factors so 3 into 2 into 7 and 8 3 2s are 6 and 7 9s are 63 so when you multiply 2 2 um, factors and then find the final product then it will be easy to multiply okay so then 6 63 is a 6 3 is a 18 1 carry 6 6 a 36 plus 1 is 37 therefore i got the 378 as the lcm okay so your three digit lcm we have got okay um, let's um, find out the equivalent fractions for the given uh, fractions okay so 5 by 6 see uh, to uh, make the denominator uh, 378 5 by 6 should be multiplied by a suitable factor such that its product becomes 378 okay then for, we don't know 6 how many times it becomes 3, 378 is it not to get the suitable factor to multiply with 6 let us divide this 378 by 6 itself children okay here i have done so when 378 is divided divided by 6 6 6 uh, 36 1 is the remainder then borrow the next digit 8 
okay then 6 3 is a 18 got it so that means 6 63 times we get 378 so uh, thereby we get the suitable factor to multiply with 6 okay then 6 should when 6 is multiplied by 63 then it the product becomes 378 similarly uh, multiply the same number with the numerator then 563 times becomes 350 so this is how we obtain the equivalent fractions Sim, uh, let us take the second fraction 2 by 7 okay 2 how many times is 378 so once again just write the uh, do the division in the working column children so uh, divide 378 by 7 okay uh, 7 5 is a 35 uh, next uh, uh, 37 minus 35 is 2 uh, and borrow the next digit is 8 7 how many times 7 fours are 28 understood so the uh, quotient obtained is 54 that means we have to multiply uh, 54 to the 7 to get 378 okay uh, similarly multiply the same uh, factor to the numerator then it becomes uh, 2 fours are 8 2 fives are 10 the numerator will be 108 um, next they take the third fraction 8 by 9 into okay the uh, denominator i mean uh, denominator should become 378 no uh, that means uh, 378 multi uh, divide 378 by 9 okay 9 fours are 36 uh, 37 minus 36 is 1 and borrow the next digit 8 uh, 9 threes are 18 understood uh, the quotient is 48 okay uh, the quotient becomes the other factor to be multiplied with 9 so when 9 multiplied by 43 then we get 943 times is 348 uh, multiply the same factor to the numerator 8 threes are 24 to carry 8 fours are uh, 32 plus 2 is 34 got it children yes so take the last fraction 1 by 3 into uh, 378 we should obtain 378 so come coming to the working column and divide 378 uh, by 3 okay so 3 ones are 3 and the next digit borrow the next digit 3 twos are 6 and uh, the remainder is 1 uh, borrow the third one then 3 6 are 18 got it so the uh, other factor uh, after obtaining the uh, quotient so it, this becomes the other suitable factor to be multiplied with 3 so which is the quotient we obtained here 126 okay uh, then when 126 is multiplied by 3 then we get 378 similarly take the same factor and multiply with the numerator since it is 1 we get the same product as 126 got it children now uh, all these fractions arrange it in the ascending order that means smaller to bigger okay so which is the smallest one among here uh, 3 no, 315 108 344 and 126 among this the first and the smallest fraction is 108 okay so 108 divided by 378 uh, followed by uh, 126 divided by 378 and then uh, 315 divided by 378 and then 344 divided by 378 okay so one not after writing after arranging in the ascending order write the corresponding given fractions so 108 uh, by 378 is equivalent to 2 by 7 so you write exactly below one one below the other next uh, 126 um, uh, represents or uh, uh, it is the equivalent of 1 by 3 and then uh, 3 by 15 is equivalent to 5 by 6 and then at last 344 is equivalent to 8 by 9 got it children yes so this is how we can arrange the given fractions in ascending order children so the next main is uh, seventh one i bought one dozen bananas and ate five of them uh, what fraction of the total number of bananas was left okay so this is very simple 
uh, first you write the uh, number of uh, bananas comes in one dozen one dozen equals to 12 bananas then number of bananas eight is five among uh, or out of 12 five were eaten next number of bananas left is obviously 12 minus 15 uh, sorry 12 minus 5 will be 7 so 7 of the bananas will be left got it now we have to express this uh, left over bananas in the fraction form so for this first fraction of the bananas left is uh, how many how many of them were eaten 7 7 of them were eaten out of how many bananas children total number of bananas were 12 okay since it is uh, uh, 12 uh, therefore we should write 12 in the denominator that means the fraction of bananas left is 7 out of 12 this itself okay this itself is the answer understood uh, let's move on to the next mean that is insert the symbol uh, equals less than or greater than between each of the given pairs of fractions okay uh, this mean also involves the comparison of fractions uh, as I explained so far the, to compare the fractions we need to equalize the denominator by taking the LCM right uh, apart from taking the LCM we can also use another method to uh, compare the fractions that I'll show you now this is very interesting um, and easy uh, method of comparing the fractions okay uh, first uh, among that the first problem 6 by 11 and 5 by 9 uh, see first observe these two fractions whether they are in the lowest form yes uh, both of them are in the lowest form so that you cannot reduce further understood uh, then if they are in the lowest form then do one thing children left numerator okay take the left numerator and multiply with the right denominator of the I mean uh, denominator of the right fraction got it left numerator uh, numerator of the less left fraction and uh, denominator of the second fraction multiply these two 6 into 9 okay 6 nines are uh, how, how much is 6 9 times is 54 right similarly um, left denominator multiply the denominator of the left fraction with the numerator of the right fraction okay 11 into 5 so 11 into 5 11 5 times is 55 understood so this 54 6 nines are represents the first fraction that means the product which uh, denote uh, represents the first fraction and uh, 55 represents the second fraction okay now compare these two values 54 and 55 so how this is uh, um, how is this uh, uh, compared to 55 since 54 is less than 55 okay um, this is 54 is related to 55 uh, that is 50 uh, relation between 54 and 55 is less lesser than understood so since 54 is less than 55 thereby we can say 6 by 11 is less than uh, 5 by 9 understood children so this is the new method of comparison of fractions in this way also you can do but the basic method is the LCM method that you must know uh, therefore you practice other main problems by taking the LCM method itself understood okay only this mean you are allowed to do using this method next I'm moving to the third problem 56 by 64 should be compared with 7 by 8 okay as we observe that 56 and 64 they are not in the lowest form right uh, for this we have to convert it first we need to convert this into the lowest form okay uh, since 56 and 64 are having um, the common factor of course they are having they can be divided by 2 4 um, and then h okay uh, since uh, when you uh, take the hcf of 56 and 64 then hcf will be h okay therefore divide 56 by 64 by 8 after dividing so in the working column i have done see 56 uh, and 64 when it is divided by 8 uh, 8 sevens are uh, 8 sevens are 56 and uh, 8 eights are 64 okay so after reducing into the lowest form i got 7 by 8 okay 
Now, look here, children. Uh, the obtained fraction uh, 7 by 8, which is equal to the second fraction, that is also 7 by 8. Therefore, we can say both of them are equal. Understood? Okay. So, I'll uh, move to the third problem. Uh, third one is... Uh, uh, 5 by 12 and sorry uh, not third one fourth one 5 by 12 and 8 by 23 okay so 5 by 12 and 8 by 20 8 by 33 so to compare these two fractions once again i'll make use of the uh, new method that is cross multiplication method this is called as cross multiplication method so the left numerator should be multiplied by the right denominator so that means 5 into 33 uh, we you you must do this step itself as the first okay uh, next is 12 should be multiplied by h so the left denominator with the right numerator so 33 5 times is 5 threes are 15 1 carry 5 threes are 15 plus 1 6 165 it becomes 165 and uh, 12 eights are 12 eights are 96 okay uh, that means uh, one we uh, we have to compare now 165 and 96 how 165 is related to 96 or is it equal or greater than or lesser than that we have to denote it here since 165 is greater than 96 this implies that 165 represents the first fraction and 96 represents the second fraction got it children therefore we can say 5 by 12 is greater than 8 by 33 understood i hope you got the easy method to compare the fractions okay you can make use of this method in comparing the fractions and if you want you can work out other main problems also using this method once in uh, workbook okay the last one is out of 50 identical articles 36 are broken find the fraction of the total number of articles and the articles broken the remaining articles and the total number of articles yes children first uh, let us write the total number of articles as 50 okay and the number of articles broken is 36 right uh, find out the remaining articles that means which were not broken uh, to find that uh, the remaining articles subtract 36 from 50 thereby we obtain 14 okay so 14 is the uh, number of articles which were not broken but what we have to find here the total number of articles and the articles are broken okay the articles broken so for that for, uh, since they have given the total number of articles to be written first okay you write the fraction like this total number of articles in the numerator divided by number of articles broken okay so how many are the total number of articles that is 50 right okay the number of articles broken is 36 got it so 50 divided by 36 since 50 and 36 are having the common factor 2 only or else you find out the hcf of 50 and 36 children then you will get uh, 2 itself is the hcf okay therefore uh, 50 and 36 divided by 2 both uh, numerator and uh, denominator should be divided by 2 on dividing by 2 uh, 225 times is 50 and 218 is 36 so the uh, obtained fraction is 25 by 18 understood so 25 by 18 is the fraction of the total number of articles divided by the number of articles broken so the second one is remaining articles okay remaining articles should be compared with total number of articles the, rem the we should find the fraction of remaining part uh, articles and the total number of articles in this uh, how many are the remaining articles so here we had found that is 14 isn't it so uh, write 14 in the numerator and total number of articles is 50 okay and uh, uh, bring it to the simplest form uh, 14 and 50 uh, the um, common divisor for 14 and 15 is uh, 2 therefore it should be divided by 2 okay uh, after dividing by 2 we get 2 7 times is 14 and 2 25 times is um, 50 if uh, just look at this uh, um, fraction if it is uh, able to simplify further you can divide by 
taking the common factor once again. So if it is in the lowest form, then this itself is the answer. Understood children? Yes. So thereby we completed exercise 14b, all the mains, all the problems. Okay. Um, so you copy all these problems to the notes itself. Understood? Thank you.